Psalms 128, a song of degrees. Blessed, happy is every one that feareth the Lord. So you want to be blessed, you want to be happy, you fear God. That walketh in his way. That doesn't mean religion, that doesn't mean what you want. That means you do what God wants you to do. That is a blessed man. For thou shalt eat the labor of thy hands. Labor of thy hands, not laziness in the hand. Happy shall thou be. And happy is the meaning of the word blessed. Happy shall thou be, and if and it shall be well with thee. Well with thee what? When you uh, fear the Lord and you do what he wants you to do. That is the answer to happiness. Thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the sides of thy house. Now, we talked about the children yesterday. Now, the wife. She covers the house. She's an ornament of the house. She's the beauty of the house. Thy children like olive plants. Now, olive plants were for anointing the oil. And the oil is a type of the Holy Spirit. But this is the olive plants. They were, well, the olive plants were, not, were used for its berries, for food, its oil for anointing. The tree was used for uh, building materials. I believe the, the doors of the temple were made of olive trees. Round about thy table, thy table, the table where you eat upon, the table where you have communion together. It's also a numerous growing My notes here, here. And nourishing verse. It's a there's many of your plants. It says the wife is a fruitful vine. That's singular. Olive plants is plural. For another note about the olive tree, you go to Psalm 52, verse 8, and it's described. Behold, that this, that thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. What shall be blessed? What shall be the one wife and many children? A wife that stays at home has rooted her ground in the house. When those vines grow up into a wall, they grow into the wall. They actually. Parts of their roots will ground and root themselves. That means she's not going to go anywhere else. That is her home. She don't go wandering all over the place. You know what you realize when you read, well you can't read from Eve, but you read from Ruth, You read from uh, Hannah. All the godly women. Rachel, Leah. Sarah. You know what you read about those women in the Bible? They stayed at home. And never once in the Bible did they go back to their father or their fatherland or their home. They grew themselves into their home, and they stayed there. That was there. That was something where their roots went into. Their roots were in the home. And kind of weird that the roots and the man produce olive plants. You would think that it would, the children would be likened to the vine. But they produce olive plants. One vine, many plants. Behold that, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. And we already said yesterday when we, when we looked at the psalm that the children are a, a reward of God. And your wife is to be a growing, nourishing vine. 
The Lord shall bless thee out of that Zion. Okay, here comes the Jewish. This is Jerusalem. The mountain. Thou shalt see the good of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Now that's not going on today. Good, it could have been during Solomon's time. But Solomon didn't have one wife. David didn't have one wife. Yea, thou shalt see thy children's children, Job, Joseph, and Adam saw his children's children's children, and peace upon Israel. Well, that's not today. There's no peace in, in Israel right now. Paul said to pray, pray for Israel. The Psalms had wrote to pray for the peace in Israel. And that's only going to happen when the Lord Jesus Christ. If you want to be happy, you need to fear the Lord and do what he tells you to do and go where he tells you to go. Your family life is to be, your wife is to be flourishing and growing and a beauty now you go to Proverbs 31 you find out beauty is not in the skin you can have to the world's eyes the most ugliest woman but if she is blessed by the Lord she's a wonderful woman beauty is vain um, beauty is vain there's, some, there's another part to it, but if a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be prayed. But it says, beauty is vain, and there's another part missing. And then for the man to be blessed, he that fears the Lord. The reward is, is, is the family. Too many men treat their wives as garbage and, and talk about them as garbage. And then we look to the millennium. Listen, children will be alive in a millennium. There won't be missiles flying overhead as they're happening today. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on the cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great thou art how great thou art then sings my soul my savior god to thee how great the Lord, how great the Lord. When Christ shall come, 
with shout of acclamation and take me home what joy shall fill my heart then I shall bow in humble adoration